Hey, this is a three-year-old cat stud I'm fixing to work. A lot like Paul's horse. He's had probably a little over a year's worth of training. Uh, going to work on a lot of the same things I did the two-year-old. Keep reminding him of those basics. That the progression, rate, stop, turn. I want him doing those things. I'm going to give him a little more responsibility on that cow now, though. He's a little older. He's a little more mature. It's time for him to start thinking a little more about that cow and putting that more together with the proper progression and the proper mechanics. So that's kind of what we're working on. We're still building on the basics. Still want him to do it the same way. Cow cut, and cross. Still, I want to stay even with that cow's head. Step two, this cow, make him move. I want to get across. I want to be even with that cow's head, and I want him to wait. Let that cow pull me through there. Get back even with that cow's head here. Stop. He's in a good position. His hips up under him. He's got those ribs and shoulders out of the way, head in. He's ready to make that turn when that cow moves. Now all I want him to do is just sit here and be relaxed. Let that cow show him where he needs to go. I'm working like this, cow stands there. A lot of times I'll step towards that cow right here. Make him go on. Step right back up across the cow, even with the cow's head. Again, I got him stopped. He's in a good position. He's relaxed. Step to that cow again here. On these three-year-olds, I'm going to still help them. I'm going to help remind them of those basics. But especially like when I cut a good cow and they feel good, I'm going to let them cut a little bit now. As long as, as, long as he's still wanting to do it right, I'm going to let him do a little more on his own. As soon as I feel him go to losing those mechanics a little bit, losing that foundation, then I'm going to go right back and get a hold of him, help him, and reinforce that some more.